Hi, Brian. Jessica. Yay, it's the new year. It is a new year, 2024. New wow. Year, new you. Yes. Celebrate eight years being diagnosed uh, over the holidays. Oh, did you? Yes. When is your anniversary? Uh, like the, it's like the couple of days right before Christmas, like the 20, oh, really? yeah, 20th, I think. Oh. 18th, something like that. Wow. My five years coming up this July. Catching up to me. Time flies when you're <laughs> slowing down. <laughs> um, so as you can tell, we're still doing Zoom because we haven't been back in the studio yet, but we're going to be getting back there soon. Yes, very, very soon. So what I wanted to um to talk to you about, because I know you never have any idea what we're talking about, um, yeah. is what our topics are going to be, at least in the first three months of the year. Oh, um, or I did see like a brief outline on those. You what? I did see like a brief outline. I know. And you never responded back. Uh, well, I just no response is a good response, I guess. <laughs> All right. So here's, I just thought it would be good for people to know what's coming up um and if they had any other thoughts or i mean we get suggestions all the time so a couple of things that um that came through is you've talked about how symptoms come and go right. um and i've i've actually noticed it now too um so one of our listeners asked if we could um talk about that more so we're just going to we'll talk about that together one day um, okay another one is the Parkinson's Foundation, they came out with a new hospital booklet. It looks like it's pretty thick. And I think Melissa said she got one at the gym. Um, I was actually going to order one, but I thought we could talk through that because it, now now that we did that like segment on like going to the hospital when you have Parkinson's, I think that's going to be really important for people to have um, on hand. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. Other ones oh i think got some good some guests coming in yeah so we're gonna have um well (laughs) if you do your job and you can schedule some people then yes we'll have some guests coming in Uh, are we waiting for me to schedule people yes okay i told you that i sent you those emails i don't need to know we're gonna have to we'll have to i'm just worried we need to get hold of michelle to see if mr gibson is available that's my primary focus right now before spring training starts. Okay. But, you know, while we're waiting on the busy Mr. Gibson, there's other people that we can uh, oh, talk yeah. to. So, yes, um, I saw those. What? I said, yes, I saw those, but those aren't coming up until next month. So we have plenty of time. Yeah. Um. Did you see my note on the gut microbiome? Yes. I've been trying to tell you that it starts in the gut. You started talking about that because your stomach was growling one day. No, no. I, there's a couple things. I've had a couple of issues that with my gut and that that kind of parallel me being diagnosed diagnosed with Parkinson's at the same time that I've gone back and rethought about. Really? You didn't talk oh, about that? Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'd sit in meetings just like how you heard it growl before. And like right after lunch, and so I wasn't hungry and got my stomach would just be gr- like making all kinds of rumbling, grumbling sounds. I didn't feel bad. And like that, when I mean, it just obnoxious, obnoxiously loud sounds. You have IBS? Uh, no, I don't have IBS. So when I talk about gut microbiome, I'm talking about the bacteria in our mm-hmm. gut. So there's like billions of bacteria, and that's why people right. take probiotics. And right. there's so many. I've different also had I've also had problems with the uh, um, breakout a couple different times of uh, uh, yeast. And part of that is not having enough probiotics in your system. Really? Correct. Well, I started taking probiotics uh, three weeks ago after I spoke with this um, woman. Her name is Martha. So I'm really hoping we can get her scheduled um, to talk about all the research that she's done. Her husband has Parkinson's. Um, He's had it for 20 years and she got all into the science and is um, spoken and had Ted talks and, um, has done research has, you know, revisited research that's already been done. I mean, there's so much stuff that's out there. So it's just, it's really interesting. Yes. Um, another one that's interesting is people brought this up before and I didn't do 
really anything with it because I didn't know much on it. But the B1, is it thiamine? Sure. No, seriously. Do you, um, so one of our friends that we work out with, I got to look this up. One of our friends we work out with gave me this book to read. Um, and it has to do with the research or what has been done um, on B1 vitamin mm -hmm. or supplement. Yeah, thiamine. And it, that one's super interesting as well. Again, there's there's not enough clinical data, but there's they're trying to get, I, I think it, they don't have the clinical data that they need because they're still, um, the, whoever's doing the study, they need more funding. Um, so I just, I thought that one would be really, yeah, it's some of that stuff is just kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's the disease itself, you know, snowflake. So the cure, if they ever right. come on, you know, well, well you know, <clears throat> we've talked, I've talked to people that have talked about people being cured or not having any symptoms. I was like, yeah. first off, if there was a cure, it would not be kept quiet. It, people would be screaming it from the mountaintops, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, so that makes you think of the person that it was he cured. You say um, cured very cured. Um, was uh was misdiagnosed to begin with. Um, or it's just the version that they have, because again, like right. we Everybody, right, so. we all have Parkinson's. We don't have a certain kind of Parkinson's yet. I mean, I think that's yeah. where they need to get to. So, um, but I agree. I agree with your point. Like, um, and I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would go to say that they were misdiagnosed. I just think maybe they had a different. Well, I mean, how many people, I mean, I can think of a handful of people that I've known since I've been had Parkinson's that have been, that I, that I personally know that have been misdiagnosed. They've, you know, yeah. they're. They have a tremor, so they are told they have Parkinson's, or they have this, they tell they have Parkinson's, and um, come find out once they get into a movement disorder specialist, they find out that no, they're they don't have Parkinson's, they have something right. else, and so something else is versus maybe this, you know, mirrors Parkinson's, right? So, yeah, so anyway, but that's where what they found out last year, the uh, the Fox Foundation, the um what's it called when they can test if you have it or not the, the PMI the bio the biomarker, the biomarker right. um now that they have a biomarker they should be able to you know the studies will hopefully be more robust because they'll be confident in the pe like people that they're testing that mm -hmm. they do have parkinsons or not right but anyway so that was that's one on B1 that we'll talk about um i also wanted to talk in Maybe bringing Dr. Mather again, um, member Dr. Sonia Mather from Canada. I do. Um, to talk about men versus women Parkinson's yeah, you're, symptoms. You're stuck on that topic, aren't you? Well, because I think <laughs> that it's just, you know, it is. It is. I mean, they're uh, not. You know, they, there's a lot. There's a lot of things that, like when you guys are talking about that, that even from a male perspective, I didn't even think about. You know the the challenges, some of the other challenges you guys face. Yeah. You ladies, I shouldn't say guys. Mm -hmm. Ladies, but I mean, even just things that, like, I, I would, I didn't even think about this until I started like looking into it and researching it a little bit. But, um, even differences as far as, um, like, typically, and you know, I know this isn't for everybody, but typically, if the, if a guy is diagnosed and they have a spouse, the spouse will usually go with them to all of their doctor's appointments. Whereas the woman being diagnosed, like Derek used to come to all my appointments in the beginning. And now I just go by myself, which is totally fine. Like I, he doesn't need to come, but, um, I heard that. That's, is that the mothering, is that the mothering caretaker mentality yeah, that, that women I think so. have? Um, Sorry, I was being attacked by my dog. If dog slap on my hand. That's see, that's the problem when we when we are out of in our homes. Um, but I thought that that was kind of interesting because you know, I don't know. There, there's just like nuances just with how you deal with life in general, um, men versus women, and then what that means for our symptoms. So like, I don't know. It's like, do we progress differently? Is it? 
hormonal or whatever. So that will be another topic. Um, fear of falling. Ah, something I know a little bit about. How's that? Not fear, falling. Oh yeah. You've had a couple falls recently, right? I've had one recently, but yeah, it was face down on the on the sidewalk. It was great. Do you want to talk more about that or no? Uh, we can talk about that when we go to falling. I don't want to give all the good details away. Um, I also want to talk about the update to the the bill um, that is in. It's going to the Senate. I don't know if it's cleared the House. It was a committee last we knew. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you, <clears throat> you didn't see that? No. Ryan, I posted something on that. Well, I mean, Jess, I got life. Oh my god. I got I got life outside of PD. I know. I I totally agree, but this was kind of a big deal. Aren't you? Are you on social you, media like I have limited social media. Would you you post it on your page or on the 5K? I don't know. I think I posted it everywhere and then I did a quick uh live segment. So apparently you missed that too. Yeah, I must have been dozing off during that time. So, um, what about fatigue? Huh? We, need to, we need to talk about fatigue too, because man, there's yeah. times, especially for the holidays, I was just late, late, like I could have slept for like probably a week straight, if you like. Yeah, I see. I, I don't know. Fatigue. It's like comes it, and goes. Comes and it goes. Comes and goes. Um, yeah. because the other day, I'm gonna write fatigue down. The other day. Um, um, I was helping my, uh, in-laws move in to their new place. And I like, I unpacked like all day long and I was fine. And I was like, you know, kept going, kept going. And then I came home, kids, kids were home, got dinner. And then they were going off to bed and I just like, wasn't tired yet. Like I literally felt wired. So I started taking down the Christmas decorations by myself. I cleaned the kitchen, I got things ready for the morning. <laughs> like, what is the matter with me? And then this morning, I like Didn't get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, it, like I said, it's one of those things that kind of comes and goes. And mine kind of comes in waves. Like, and when it hits, I like I just want to lay on the couch or lay in bed, literally yeah. for like three days. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's one that we can definitely bring up. Um, another couple ones that I missed. Um. We want to talk to care partner, uh, like bring in a care partner person to oh, talk about um, tips for traveling. We should actually do that one sooner rather than later. Actually, we probably should have done it at the end of last year because I know a lot of people, the snowbirds go down yes, south, but um, a lot of the care partners had really great tips for traveling, whether it's a long, like a long, not distance, I don't know like a long trip, short trip, whatever, um, all different things in terms of like how you can plan. Um, there's also that guy who reached out to us, um, how he, uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes. Very interesting. And then there's a woman who, uh, just finished the Iron Man. Yes. Um, so we want to talk. uh, Yeah. Erica's, uh, it was, she was connected. Yeah. Um, and then I want to talk to, I want to bring, uh, the CEO from in motion, you know, that, um, Jim mm-hmm. in Cleveland, cause they've done some, I think they've done some research on exercise. I don't know exactly what that looks like. So I just want to get a little bit more, I don't know, understanding of what that is or what we need, what we can do. All right. Then I have a couple more. Okay. Somebody asked about parenting with Parkinson's. So oh, I thought, yeah. We know that, a lot about that. Well, that will be interesting too, because you have an older, well, I mean, he was still younger at the time, but like, yeah, I mean, he was, he was like 12 when I got diagnosed. So. Right. But he's older now. So you, you kind of have that breadth of time span. Yes. Um, whereas mine were younger. And then this has come up many times and we need to talk about it with you is relationships with Parkinson's. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about sex and Parkinson's. Yeah, we got to talk about that too at some point, but we need to find find the right person (laughs) for that. Yeah, that's what I've been telling myself too. No, I mean, (laughs) 
Yeah. Anyways, um, and then last two are, um, I have somebody at the gym that gave me um this person's information on learning. Um, if you get genetic testing, mm -hmm. you know, talking to, Your, you know, he talked yeah. it through with I don't know a genetic therapist. Do you know what they're called? Uh, a genetic therapist sounds well, good it's to me. Just, it's he had a much better experience. It sounds like than you did when I think they just called you and they said you don't have the gene. Yeah. Why am I talking to you? Yeah. Yeah. He had a, a much better experience. So I thought that, that would be um that would be really interesting. And then I would just like to you know bring up the clinicaltrials.gov website and just see like. There's so much out there, and I think the more people know um, about how they can be a part of a clinical trial. Was that your dog? Yes, I'm a dog sitting for my son, and he's, <laughs> he's trying to chew my hand off. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, so those are... All not that's I actually still it's have some all, more, but yeah, it's not all because I know there's others no. out there too. But that's a good base, and of course, you know, we always love people's feedback to uh to see like what they like to hear about or talk about or whatever mm -hmm. else Jessica can research for them. What can I research for you? Yes, I know DBS is going to be out there a little bit more again this year. Yeah, I'd be um. I'm just interested. I, I I'd like to actually. One of the things I might I'm considering doing is I have a conference. Um, my company goes to, and it's a pharmaceutical, um, conference. But Are I you might where go. I have PD shirt. Huh? Are you where I I have a PD shirt, so it's giving you some free pharmaceuticals. No, but I was gonna maybe uh, ask some people on like the for the secret life of Parkinson's podcast. So like, you know, taking my company hat off and putting this one on to say like, Hey, you know, interviewing people who are working on Parkinson's drugs to, I don't know, learn a little bit more from them or like why they decide or why they choose the, you know, drugs to go after, like, how do they make those decisions? I don't know if anybody else is interested in that, but I, I'm always very curious about like, why in the world did they, I'm sure somebody's interested in it. Yeah. Someone's always oh, you, interested. I know. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so I mean there's gonna be lot lots more topics, lots more lots more fun to be had. Yes, lots of things going on. But so how was your holidays? It was good. It was relaxing. I got a little sick over the holiday, but for the most Did part you? I just yeah, I got a little head cold, man cold, as Melissa says. Mm-hmm. So you were down so, and out for like two weeks? Uh about a week. Were you? Yeah, I mean that's a part of the exhaustion thing. I was just like, yeah. yeah. I know my son was actually sick, and he was he was like exhausted for a whole week, like he okay. just slept. Yeah. Um. Okay. Is that Great. it? That's it. That's all I got are you multitasking? You. Are you still? Are you with uh, no, me? No, I'm with you. I want to what? I'm with you. Okay. I got a dog biting at my arm and my hand, and another one trying to attack him for attacking me. And now I'm surprised mine are being normal. The sanctioned dog fights going on here. Nice. Well, I'll let you get back to that. And <laughs> uh, um, I'll actually see you tomorrow in the studio, and we'll get yes, a lot of these wait. ramped up. And uh, to be, uh, we should be ready to have an episode out every Thursday. That's a lot of work. It is. But um, we're going on two years now. Did you know that? I know we're getting close somewhere up in that area. It's in February. Oh, wow. We need to have a birthday party, cake and ice cream. That's such a good idea. I know. Oh, I really so, like that idea. All right, Jess. All well, right. You enjoy uh, your afternoon. I will see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Take care, Bye. everybody. Thanks for tuning in.